All right, everyone. So as always, magsisimula po tayo sa weekly chart ng index, no? Now, as we discussed two weeks before, we did fall beneath tong level natin at 6638. Pero the week after, including the week right now, diba? we traded back above tong 6638 na area and we've decided to reject tong 6638 and for now, we're holding above it. Diba? We have in fact come close dito sa trend line na drawing natin before, no? Na I mentioned that we should look at this as a potential area. Pero ultimately, yung resistance pa rin na pinakahinahabol natin ngayon will be at 6.9. If price from here can reclaim and take out tong 6,900 na area, then that opens up the possibility na mabalikan natin yung 7.2. Then if mabasag din yun, 7.5 yun next. But for now, yung immediate na gusto natin sanang makita para maging mas bullish somewhat, yung index is ma-retake yung 6.9. Hanggang hindi na re retake yung 6.9 na level or kahit sabihin natin 7,000 na lang eh, para mas malinis. Hanggang hindi na re retake yun, um, we can always construe this as parang bumaba, umangat, tapos mauuntog dyan para lang bumaba ulit. Parang nag-bounce lang ba? ba? So we want something more definitive para masabi natin na may some type of reversal na nagaganap na dito sa PSEI. At least from the weekly chart. Now, Kung sabihin naman natin, in the next couple of weeks, hindi mag-hold tong 6638 na area, okay? Then from there, pag mabasag yan, odds are aabutin natin either itong low na to from before, which is at around 6,270, or we'll come all the way back dito sa 6,080 na level. Okay? Kapag umabot tayo sa 6,000, we'll rediscuss then kung ano yung mga pwede natin tignan na scenarios. But for now, let's not get too ahead of ourselves. Let's hope na ito na yon na we have found yung bottom natin. At least sana, um, well, sana syempre for the long term, no? Pero kahit sana for the midterm man lang, uh, nakahanap tayo ng bottom. And we can start pushing from here, clearing 6,900 to 7,000, followed by 72 and then 75. Okay? Now, if we look at it from a daily time frame, ang nangyayari dito, essentially, bumaksak tayo, nag-form tayo ng medyo weird na inverse head and shoulders pattern around this area. So, same thing, no? Dahil medyo weird nga itsura niya, we want to reclaim tong 6.9. If we can reclaim tong 6.9, perhaps price can start trading here between 6.9 hanggang mga 7.2 like we discussed. And if we can break above this, etong area naman na to. ba? Now, kung kunwari from here, we break down and we break beneath tong right shoulder low, then I think at bare minimum, mababalikan natin tong low na to at around 6,380 and baka mag-range muna tayo sa area na to pang samantala. Now, I realize kanina pa ako baka ng baka kasi masyadong maraming pwedeng potential scenarios na baganap dito sa index eh. Diba? Hindi pa natin masabi outright na, uy, uh, bullish na so dapat ganito na or uy, super bearish na so dapat ganito na. We had our bearish move. Diba? We went all the way down. Now, we've broken above tong structure na to. Para ito yung low, high. Ito na ba yung higher low? Can we start pushing higher from there? Let's wait and see, no? As always, wag po natin pangunahan. We react. Diba? We don't we don't look at a crystal ball and say na hindi, dapat maging ganun yan. Kasi hindi naman natin maipipilit sa markado yung gusto natin. Alright? So, for now, let's see if we can come back and retake these areas. And if we can, Baka maging mas bullish na yung outlook natin moving forward. Again, we're gonna have to wait and see what the structure looks like if mangyari man yung gusto natin mangyari. Uh, next guys, tignan naman natin yung holdings tsaka yung prop. No? Uh, tulad ng dati, ginagawa natin yung mga medyo uh, pareho naman yung sentiment na chart. Pinagsasama na lang natin in an effort to save time. No? Now, itong holdings and itong prop, as we can see, ilang linggo ng patuloy na pagbaksak. Then last week, we tried to push higher in this candle here. Diba? Similar dito, we tried to push higher in this candle there. And then essentially, yung nangyari ngayong linggo is wala. Parang nag-hold lang tayo within the range of the previous candle. So ano yung pwede natin ma-expect? Medyo similar sila, eh, no? Kung etong holdings, we can reclaim tong area na to, and we can start pushing higher, then we might see na mag-range muna tayo dito sa area na to between uh, 5,850 hanggang 6,670. However, kung mabasag yung 5850 altogether, then we might revisit these lows from before or even tong low na to dito. 
Okay, so sana hindi na mabasag tong 5850. Sana mag-range muna tayo or nakahanap na tayo ng temporary low. And we can assess from here where this might go given further structure. Similar sa prop, we came down. In fact, nalagpasan natin ng konti itong support na to, di ba? Nalumagpas to ng konti. Pero binaba ko na yung level natin kasi kailangan ng mabasag to para masabi natin na nabasag altogether yung key support. Kung nabasag yung key support, we might revisit this low here or even this low there. Pero kung umangat, yeah, bumalik tayo dito, then baka bumalik lang tayo sa range natin here between 3,060 hanggang 3,452. Tapos, similar in both areas, nandyan na yung pwede pag-untugan. Meron ka nung low dito, meron ka nung low dyan, ba? Medyo similar yung type of structure nila. Even though yung itsura ng chart hindi exactly the same, pero the type of structure that it needs to overcome, medyo similar. And for now at least, it's still looking quite bearish from the weekly time frame, no? Kasi wala pa nagbagbabago structurally, eh. ba? Yes, we can argue na bearish slash ranging, meaning hindi pa naman niya nababasag overall yung range na malaki na pinagtatradean niya. But, obviously, since andun tayo sa support end nung range na yun, uh, things are looking a lot more bearish than bullish. Uh, next, tignan natin tong mining. No? Na tong mining, ko papansinin natin, di ba? We went uh, vertical here. Okay, ilang sunod-sunod na green candles. Nag-reject tayo strongly dito sa 14.5. Like we discussed before, it came back down, broke beneath tong area of previous na inflection point here, di ba? Uh, acted as resistance, support, support. Broke beneath it, came back, tested it from above, then broke further, then broke beneath again etong level of support na to. Hanggang nakahanap tayo ng support dito around 10,900 na area where it was previously resistance prior to price moving higher. Now let me zoom in a bit, no? After natin makahanap ng support dyan, nakahanap tayo ng small bounce. But again, similar sa ibang tinignan natin kanina, we're coming up to this area wherein nag-act siya as support from this previous range na pwede niyang pag-untugan on the way up. So, kung from here, sabihin natin mabasag niya tong 12.8, we can close above 12.8, then that opens up tong range na to hanggang 13.580, hanggang kung mag-break pa rin yon hanggang noong 14,500. However, kunyari from here, pumunta tayo dito, mauntog, we roll over, break beneath this low, then I think yun na, nahanap na natin yung top natin, low, lower high, lower low, and so on, no? So baka from there, mabasag na natin tong 9.9 altogether, and if that breaks, yung next level of support natin will be around 8.950, more or less. Kung mabasag pa rin yun, then we might revisit these lows here. Uh, next, tignan naman natin yung FINA at saka yung INDU, no? Again, uh, yung itsura ng mga charts nila may similarities even though in the big picture, pwede natin sabihin, ay, magkaiba naman, ah. Pero kung titignan natin closely, essentially, itong FINA, nag-form na tayo ng head and shoulders pattern, no? Like we discussed from a couple weeks back when we last looked at this. Sabi natin non sana gusto natin makita, ma-reclaim agad to, ma-take out to, para we can come back within this range. Kaso di nangyari yun, eh, no? Indu, ganon din. Nag-form tayo ng head and shoulders pattern. And para masabi natin na some type of bullishness must return, ganon din. We want to reclaim this area para bumalik tayo sa range na to. Meaning for Indu, we want it to start trading above 10,000. For FINA, we want it to start trading above 1,700. Sana. Okay, para lang masabi natin na, hey, you know what, na-negate yung bearish patterns nila. And it's looking more bullish moving forward. Pero kasi as is, ayan na eh, buong-buo na siya. Yes, we try to bounce, pero saan siya napunta? Hindi ba dun din lang sa area of uh, previous resistance turned support na to? Same banana para dito sa Indu. We crash down, na form your right shoulder, saan umaangat yung price? Hindi ba dito rin sa area of previous consolidation na to, wherein pwede siya makahanap ng resistance? Now, if from here, nakahanap nga ng resistance, we broke lower dito sa Indu, breaking beneath tong 8.9, then the next level that we likely magnet, kubaga sa anama magnet yung price will be around here, around 8,200 to 8,300, which is the next decent inflection point na naikita ko. Dito naman sa FINA, kung mabasag tong 1.5 altogether, baka balikan natin either to, yung high end ng area of consolidation na to, around 1,450, or we could revisit tong mga lows na naiwan from before at 1,360. Okay? But either way, things are not looking good. Diba? They were moving up. Tapos ngayon, nag-form ka na ng high, low, lower high, lower low. Diba? High, low, lower high, lower low. 
So ang tanong na lang, ito na ba yung next lower high mo? Ito na ba yung next lower high mo? That's what we want to see, no? So sana manigate siya, di ba? Mag-iba yung daloy ng hangin. Mag-iba yung market structure. We break to the upside para we can look for more bullishness moving forward for either. And then finally, tignan po natin tong services. Now, tong services, uh, yes, pababa na rin yung direction niya, no? Uh, we're not gonna, you know, we're not gonna close our eyes and pretend na hindi ganun yung nangyayari. But, uh, we can also look at it na either pwede nagpa-flag siya, something like that, or pwede rin natin sabihin na it's forming this big range, di ba? Until proven otherwise. When it last came down and tagged tong blue area natin, which we paulit-ulit natin sinasabi sa mga uh, market overviews natin was a key area, di ba? Doon talaga tayo nag-bounce, eh, ang solid ng bounce natin. Pero after that, all that we really did was move sideways, eh, no? Not a lot has happened since then. Parang may mga couple of stocks na nagka-prop up nito, but by and large, okay, pababa pa rin yung direction niya. So what I'm hoping to see dito sa serve sana, and the reason why I'm saving this for last, kasi mas marami tayo pa rin mo pag-usapan, no? Is sana magpatuloy nga siya mag-flag something like this, something that we can understand para if and when it breaks to the upside. Right now, kung mabasag natin and we can close above tong 1.9, start holding. Kasi so far, each time we do it, ang daming wicks eh. Tapos, ayan, kaya nag-close beneath it, we try to go above, di kinaya, bumagsak ulit, di ba? So if we can start holding above this, as in cleanly, then that might be an indication na baka bumalik na tayo mag-trade sa range na to between 1.9 hanggang 2,000. Tapos syempre, kung mabasag yung 2,000, we can come back and try and tag tong mga highs na to from before. Diba? But right now, it's not looking great. Diba? Parang yes, hindi natin alam kailan mababasag yung flag na to to the upside. We don't know. But that's the signal that I would be waiting for dito sa services kung baga before I start thinking na, okay, sige, baka nagbabago na yung ihip ng hangin. Kasi right now, um, yes, you could read it as a flag, but essentially, talagang nakikita natin pagbaba lang eh. Diba? We don't know how long that's gonna last. We want to think na kapag umabot siya dito sa key area na to, mag-abound siya, but there's no guarantee na mangyayari yun. Diba? So, that's what I will be watching out for dito. No? But at the very least, compared to sa ibang mga tinignan natin na sectors kanina, uh, siya yung mas merong, for lack of a better term, potential upside. Okay? It's not the best term kasi it sounds like I'm very positive. I'm not. Pero I'm more bullish on this compared sa iba simply because yung iba talagang nasa alanganin eh. Diba? I mean, I want to be more positive but right now, I just can't. Yes, you can trade bounces. Yes, there's something that you can still trade. I'm not denying that. I'm just saying that forcing trades right now makes life harder for you than it really ought to be when it comes to trading. Okay, for investing, then yes, yung mga naikita natin ngayon, if it brings yung mga binabantayan nyo down to yung mga areas that you feel are good areas, that you feel are value areas, then by all means, no, go ahead take the ano, uh, invest or take the trade. That's up to you. But for me, parang ang naikita natin, at least from the weekly time frame sa mga inobserve natin, mga sectoral indices and the PSEI itself, mukhang weight mode pa rin ang pinaka-advisable na move moving forward. At least right now. Hopefully, in the next two weeks or in the next month, while we discuss all of this, talagang mag-iba magkaroon ng bullish sentiment and we can start pushing higher and then there will be more for us to discuss if and when that happens. So guys, dito po nagtatapos yung video natin, no? I hope nakatulong po to sa inyo kahit konti and may natutunan kayo kahit papano. And if so, I would really appreciate it if you give this video a like and consider subscribing to my channel. And as always, guys, maraming maraming salamat po sa panonood. I really, really appreciate it. Good luck and happy trading!